Communities across the country are showing support for the victims and survivors of the Orlando tragedy. There have already been a few tri-state memorials, as many of you know, but a big event will happen this weekend and bring a number of groups together. Local 12's Megan Mangello is live at Below Zero Lounge and over the Rhine with that story. Megan? Well, Rob, the owner of Below Zero Lounge wanted to come up with a way to pay respects to the victims and also bring the community together. So Saturday night, but it's really Sunday morning at 2 a.m., this bar and a number of other bars at the exact same time will hold an event called Can't Stop Dancing. At 2 o'clock Sunday morning in Orlando, a gunman opened fire in a crowded bar as the last song of the night played. 49 people died. This Sunday in Cincinnati at exactly 2 a.m., a number of LBGT-friendly bars will play the last song and light 49 candles in honor of those victims. We're trying to honor the victims and not uh, let the, the terrorist, the murderer, have all the, all the glory. Nigel owns Below Zero. He reached out to other establishments like the Crazy Fox Saloon in Newport. There's something about growing up homosexual and, and feeling alone. And when you finally find a bar, a coffee shop, or some other place that you can meet your friends, not feel alone. That's a safety place. That's a, a home. Carl Fox and his husband That's Terry normal. run the bar. They hope the tragedy serves as a catalyst for change. I don't know if the lives of 50 gay men and women, and their families, and their friends will make a difference either, but I hope that it does. The names of each Orlando victim are in each star in this American flag at below zero. There are also 49 roses and 49 candles that are ready to be lit. And as Cincinnati bar goers hear that last song, they're asked to remember those victims that didn't get a chance to finish that last dance. There are around 15 LGBT bars, both here locally and out of state, that are taking part in the Can't Stop Dancing event. And the cool part is that other bars, Nation, Bar and Kitchen, and also Ryan House, which is right here in OTR, are joining in this effort as well. And on Saturday, they too will light candles as a remembrance. Reporting live in Over the Rhine, Megan Mangello, Local 12 News. Megan, thanks very much. Local 12 News has continuing coverage of the Orlando massacre on the air and, of course, online. New at 530, investigating whether radicalism generates the same outrage, outrage rather, within Islam as it does in other religions.